Hey you guys, welcome back for another week of topics and tips. This week we are talking about diagnosing Addison's and Cushing's disease. Now, you know, I always tell you guys that if you have questions or topics or things that you want me to cover, I'm happy to go over those. So this week we're just getting into um, diagnosing these two simply because I have another video where I go into, you know, my usual um, to prepare you for boards for Addison's and Cushing's. But someone asked me to do a video specifically for diagnosis. So here we are. Um, so let's get into it. Now, you know, I like to give you this tidbit and this, this disclaimer. So this presentation is designed to assist nurse practitioners with board preparation. You know, my family, nurse practitioner, my adult GRO, those of you who are preparing and this can help you in practice, but this is not all inclusive to be a treatment option for you or a loved one, okay? Everything is done patient by patient and this is specifically designed for um, my MP group who is preparing for boards. All right, let's get into the objectives of this brief video. So we will be identifying and retaining the diagnostics for Addison's as well as Cushing's disease. Um, I'm doing this so that you're able to apply that knowledge to exams. Uh, you know, I always tell you guys to study in the fashion of assessment, diagnosis, evaluation, and treatment. Again, and I will put the link to the video where I am discussing everything Addison's um, and Cushing's and including how they present and how you treat, et cetera, and what it is, et cetera. I'll put that link so you can go back and watch that if need, if need be, but this is strictly for the um, diagnostic as requested. And then I just want you to understand the difference between the two, okay? All right, so diagnosing Addison's disease. So I'm just going to give you a little back, but I'm not going to go all the way into it. But we know that Addison's disease is when we have um, that adrenal gland is insufficient in the actual hormone production of cortisol, right? And you can potentially have a deficiency in aldosterone as well. But the main thing is that the hormone is insufficient in pr um, producing that, that cortisol. And so I always say that we need to add it back in. So you think of that as Addison, so add it back in. So if we're trying to diagnose this, there's a few things you want to look at, okay? So those few diagnoses to consider for Addison's disease, of course, we want to do a medical history, okay? You want to get that background. You want to see if they've had any potential complications previously, ever been told that their cortisol levels were low, if they have a family history, et cetera. Also, you want to assess um, the sodium and potassium levels. You can also do an autoimmune blood test. And then here are the, the common ones. You'll do a cortisol level as well as a ACTH, which is an adrenal corticotropic hormone level. Okay. And so with these, again, it will be low because we are deficient in that cortisol and we need to add it back in. And again, I don't want to get into all of the treatment and all of that, but you'll see that in that other video that I will link for you guys in the description box. Now, if warranted, if you're not getting, um, or sometimes you just need to see a little bit more. So say that we have determined that it's Addison and you need to see if there's a tumor or anything um, that is the cause of this. Um, a CT scan of the adrenal glands and an MRI of the pituitary glands can uh, allow you to see if there are any adenomas in those areas, okay? So if you need to screenshot this, write it down, take notes, do that. But this is one of those things that as you're studying, you need to do it in repetition, knowing what it is. But if you just think of the foundation of it, you'll be able to remember these diagnostics and know what to do next. Because think about it again, Addison's is where we have the deficiency in cortisol, right? So we need to add it back in. So we're going to assess those levels to see if it's low, see if, what's the cause, if it's a potential tumor, and then we'll know how to proceed with treating, like with our oral glucocorticoids, et cetera, right? All right, next. So diagnosing, Cush, diagnosing Cushing's disease. So with Cushing's disease, it's the opposite. You have too much of the hormone cortisol, right? 
you know, and I say it's cushion, you know, it, you're, you're, you're cush because you have too much of it. So that's where they may have that round face. They may have the hump in the back. And sometimes they'll have like the, um, the stretch mark appearance, purple stretch mark appearance um, as well. So they can have any of those in the presentation. But again, check out my other video for the more details on that. But this, the labs are not so different because again, you know, I like to compare. I like to group things together that are similar so that you're able to identify and differentiate when you're in board, um, taking boards as well as in practice, right? So with these Addison's, you have too little of the cortisol and you need to add it back in, whereas Cushing's, you have too much of it. So first, you want to assess and see if they're on any current medications, you know? We're, we're going to assess that, that basic thing in all areas, right? So look at the, the basics. Like, are they on a glucocorticoid? Is that what's causing it? You know what I mean? So if that's the case, of course, we can stop there and just uh, either adjust that medication or completely take them off depending on your patient. But first, you know, assess that, okay? Next. And so with the cortisol and ACTH, in this next step, you do... Similar to what it is, what we do with Addison's, right? So you want to do a urine, um, the 24-hour urine, or a blood test for the cortisol levels, as well as that ACTH, remembering that is your adrenal corticotropic hormone. Now, that's not it. Again, you know, with Cushing's, we have too much of that cortical hormone cortisol hormone so another test that you can do is a nighttime saliva testing and the reason that i emphasize on nighttime because the cortisol levels do adjust in patients day and night okay and so those cortisol levels are uh typically best evaluated for cushing syndrome at night so that's why you want to do the nighttime saliva testing for them to evaluate those cortisol levels at that time. All right. Um, and then next, CT, MRI, same as what I just discussed with Addison's disease. Um, if we need to progress to see if there is a potential tumor causing this, you can do a CT um of the adrenals, MRI, of the pituitary gland for further evaluation. But then there's also this sinus sam sampling. And what is done here, um, it puts me almost in the mindset of heart calves because they go in um, through the groin region. Um, but it's actually, it's just a blood test though, honestly. And it is to see if the ACTH is producing a tumor from a different organ or if this is a pituitary adenoma that is causing it. But again, this step is more on the uh, further end when you're trying to identify and diagnose the Cushing's and the cause of it, okay? So let's just recap on that so that you um, get what I'm saying because it's really, again, repetition when studying for it. So again, Addison's disease, you know we have um, too little, right? So we're insufficient in that cortisol hormone. We need to add it back in. So when we are assessing these things, you want to do the diagnostic levels, doing a medical history on those patients. You can look at the sodium and potassium levels. You can do an autoimmune blood test. We want to assess those cortisol levels and that ACTH um, level via blood testing. And if warranted, we can do a CT of those adrenal glands, an MRI of the pituitary glands to identify if those are tumors causing this, right? And then back to Cushing's, we have too much of that cortisol level. They may have that round face. They may have purple stretch marks. They may have the hump um, back. You want to assess, you know, the basics first because we have too much of the cortisol level. So making sure they're not on an actual oral glucocorticoid that can be causing this. And if so, you want to address that. Um, Again, still looking at cortisol and ACTH levels. So we do 24-hour urine to assess that cortisol level. We can do the blood testing of cortisol and ACTH. Um, 
again, your cortisol levels adjust, um, increase and decrease throughout the day. Uh, so it's best to assess the nighttime saliva testing for cortisol in our Cushing's patients. And then again, CT and MRI to assess for the uh, tumors. And then there's also an inferior sinus sampling that can be done to see when we really are um, identifying specifically if it is an ACTH producing tumor from a different organ or if it's a pituitary, pituitary adenoma, okay? All right, you guys, thank you, thank you, thank you for uh, watching. I hope that you found this helpful. And as always, y'all know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe if you have any questions that you uh, would like me to go over, just as I did for this video, to go deeper into a specific area that you are having difficulty with. Please post it in the comments. I am happy to do so. If you um, found it helpful, be sure to share with a colleague, friend, or someone else who you may think that may find this helpful as well. And please subscribe. It's free to subscribe, guys. And it just helps this to be visible to other people who also may be looking for this. Um, and it helps me as well. Um, if you guys are in need of assistance um, preparing for boards, the nurse studio uh have been able to um, assist thousands of review students since 2015 all across um, the world, internationally treating so many people. And it's been a pleasure to work with each of you guys. And we would lo love to assist you too. Just check out the contact information. You can call us at 803-400-6864, or you can shoot us an email at the nursing studio one at gmail.com. Or just post it in the comments and we will get back to you guys. All right. Meet me back here tomorrow for Work It Out Wednesday for practice questions to test your knowledge on this topic. Bye, y'all.